question 13. Nitrogen and hydrogens mix and form the ammonia gas. So this is a Haber process. And uh, in this uh, table, uh, is given the moles of the nitrogens, hydrogens, and the product, the ammonia gas. And the total pressure given is 300 atm. This is very important because you need to calculate the partial pressure of the reactants and products using this one. Now, for this um, question is asking, what is the equilibrium constant, the capi, for the forward reaction? And you need to calculate uh, the partial pressure based on the Dalton law. Means you need to do something like this. So you need to calculate the partial pressure for the reactants and product using the mole fraction and the total pressure. The mole fraction you can easily calculate it uh, using this. Um, so mole fraction is actually, for example, uh, X, uh, we use the nitrogen, let's say. So it's equal to the moles of nitrogen which is 180 over the total mole. Sum it up, sum up all the moles, so you get 930. So 180 over uh, 930, uh, so this is a mole fraction of N2 in the mixture. So use this mole fraction times the total pressure, which is 300. So you get the partial pressure for the nitrogen. Okay, so something like this. So means the partial pressure of nitrogens, you get A58.06. So this one uh, is okay for you to uh, put it in ATM because the answer all in ATM. So the partial pressure of hydrogen, you use the same uh, calculation method. So you will get 190.32. Uh, same similar calculation. Now you need to use the moles of hydrogen, which is uh, 590 over total mole times total pressure. You get this. And the uh, partial pressure for ammonia, use the similar calculation. 160 over total mole times 300, you get 51.61. Once you get all the partial pressure, then you can substitute to the KP expression, which is this one, right? So it's a partial pressure of NH3 squared over the partial pressure of N2 times partial pressure of H2 cubed. So substitute all these value into the KP expression here, this one and this one. So you get 6.65 times 10 power negative 6. The unit, of course, is the ATM, okay, power negative 2, right, because of this one, right. So uh, ATM squared over the ATM, uh, power 4. So you get this one. So therefore, answer is A. Okay, that's all. Thank you.